Okay. Shall we listen to something off that then, Mim? Uh, yeah, we can do, so... Uh... Is that... Have you ejected a track? I don't know. Okay. And so the Warrior Dubs is out. When, when will this be out? A, th a couple of weeks, I think. 23rd of October, three weeks or something. Let's see if we can play this one. This is Milanese. Um, is a producer. He used to be signed to Warp, but I've just signed him. And then with Virus Syndicate, who are Manchester MCs on it. And we, we released the Virus Syndicate album last year as well, which is produced by Mark, one who it does really good beats. So, the, but they, they, their voice is all twisted up through plugins on this one. It's like quite twisted. Dead Man Walking, I think it's the Milanese remix of Virus Syndicate. Okay. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what, what's going on on this little yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, well, you were talking about cut up beats earlier, and I had a cut up beat on here which I prepared earlier. Here's something so, I prepared earlier. Um, I wonder if this is turned on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, when I, I make my tracks as well, so I'm, I'm still play live and, and DJ and stuff. And uh, I just had this, opened this track, which, which gave an idea of what you can do with... I mean, this is Jungle, so... If you put the Amen break on, here you've got the uh, waveform, and then you cut it up. This is battery, which is like... Just a little drum machine which you load in your sounds to. I've just loaded in the Amen break. Hasn't even got the symbol at the end. I wonder where that is. Um, and I just move the start point along. And then stretch it. Or whatever. You've got all these different sound effects, reverses and stuff. Pitch it. You can do all this within the program by, I mean, if we go to the break here, you can just tune it up or down. and then uh, affect it and stuff. Make it really grainy or something. If you want it to sound like that, it can. So, <laughs> I don't know if you would. Sounds a bit like that Milanese thing. So, uh, and then you put it all together and you can just program something in to
consume. Very right, cool. Uh, what do you use when you're playing live? Yeah, this is what I use when I'm playing live, which is Logic uh, with battery and various plugins and stuff. Uh, how much is pre-prepared and is there anything um, like improvised? Anything I can improvise, yeah. Basically, you can loop stuff, you can mute stuff, and you can piss around with plugins by... Uh, I mean, like, for instance, so I'll just loop a bit of this break here. I can go in on that. I sort of fuck around with that on the funny little GRM plugin thing. So, I mean, you can do that, you can... I mean, it's mainly, yeah, it's mainly structured. I've got loop-based tracks as well, where you can sort of have loops and mute them on and off. I mean, I used to, I'm sort of used to working with the Atari, which used to be a lot more live. Sort of, um, where you used to trigger the MIDI stuff, so you can sort of almost write tracks on the fly while you're playing live, because you've got the keyboard there to input stuff. But with this, I'm, I'm not playing with the keyboard, so the only way I can sort of input notes is like a, with a little um, pencil or whatever. It's not something you can really do live. You could, but you'd have to stop and then do it. It's not very good for dancing. Thank you. Just with the beats, the uh, chops up beats, do you play them in live or...? Um, I, I used to, yeah. Um, sometimes, yeah, yeah, I do. In this case, I did, yeah. yeah. You, you, you can map them onto the keyboard there in battery. If I open that up again, I don't know if it's... It's not still on the screen, is it? But um, you can map each of those breaks yeah. and the different start points to a different note on the keyboard, and then you can just play them in like that, yeah. which I think sounds a lot better than if you're putting in by pencil. Yeah. But then sometimes I do just put it in, you know, put in the notes in, in, in the sequencer and just sort of move them around a bit and sort of get it sounding a bit more... Um, so that's on C-sharp 1, for example. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I, mean, I, I prefer playing it on the keyboard, yeah. so you get a sort of more musicianly feel yeah. to it, you know. You sort of get into it. Yeah, cool. But then this year I've only been writing on the computer with no keyboard, just to restrict myself. So that it's all just pencil then? So you're, just, right? you're just drawing things on using the mouse? Yeah, that's yeah. what I've been doing this year. Yeah. Just, right. I don't know why. <laughs> I've been limiting myself. Yeah, cool. Are there any other questions for Mark? No, I was going to say, well, if, if, you know, we've got some, some stuff happening upstairs right. for the rest of the evening, so if anyone wants to, to come up and ask you anything one-on-one -on -one and get you to show anything, yeah, sure. then by all means they can. But uh, thank you very much, Mike, for taking time out of the chat. Thanks. <laughs>